What would you say to some people who become detached from Buddhism because they say the teachings and the real world, they don't really go hand in hand. Let's say the karma. Mm -hmm. We are taught that if you do good deeds, good karma, then you will get good things in life. Mm -hmm. But a lot of bad people who do bad things, they actually prosper in life. So some people are like, why should I do good? Look at them, they do bad, their lives are still so fine, wonderful. Well, that's a rather short-sighted view because it only looks at this lifetime, you see? Whereas the Buddhist view is very vast, it's very broad. It understands that we don't just live once. Even though people may seem to be happy in this lifetime, we don't know what's going to happen next time around, right? So it could be that in this lifetime, someone is a very good person but still has misfortunes mm -hmm. because we don't have the, vis the wisdom to see why from the past. If we meditate a lot, actually we can. We can gain insight into the causes for our present misfortunes. Mm -hmm. But what we do know is that if we live a, an ethical life mm -hmm. uh, without harming other living beings, and if we're generous people, then in the future we'll have a good, a good life. Mm -hmm. No question about it. So I would say on the contrary, that Buddhism is extremely practical. Now it depends mm -hmm. on how you understand Buddhism. There are a lot of people who think that Buddhism means just going to the temple and donating some money or maybe sticking some gold on a statue. But that's a, a very rather superficial understanding of Buddhism. Buddhism is much deeper than that. Mm -hmm. It's so profound. It's so vast. Mm -hmm. All these wonderful teachings of the Buddha can tell us so much about how to live this life well, mm -hmm. uh, both to how to develop our inner life and also how to develop positive, beneficial human relationships. Mm -hmm. So I think that um, in general, if we practice well, we'll see that even in this lifetime, we'll experience great benefit. Our minds will become more calm, more peaceful. The thoughts with practice, the thoughts, the, all these confusing, distracting thoughts will settle down. But we mm -hmm. have to give it a try, right? Mm -hmm. You can't expect just to meditate for 15 minutes and then expect all of our mental distractions to suddenly be resolved. Uh -huh. We have to do, it's a process mm -hmm. over, over time. Mm -hmm. Can we achieve nirvana in our lifetime? Sure, why not? I'm, not, I'm not a nun. Okay. That's okay. Can you I have achieve to be it? a nun. If you really practice well, you could also achieve nirvana. Check it out. 